It's the midday rush at Gather 55. This place is very important for the community. A restaurant in Hartford, Connecticut, where it's pay what you can for a quality meal. Those who can't are never turned away. Instead, they can opt to volunteer their time. It's run by Hands on Hartford, a nonprofit that focuses on housing, health, and food insecurity. State Representative Jeff Luxemburg is also the community engagement manager here. So when we can bring people together, we're really, we're really solving a larger problem. Good morning. <laughs> so who's got the yeah, well, yeah. Gather 55 depends in part on outside volunteers like Linda Mason. The customers that come in here are just the most lovely people. Mason was a special education teacher for 33 years. Like so many others, she struggled with feelings of isolation during the pandemic. I was extremely lonely. I managed it. You know, I was aware of it. Hey, Mark. When she decided to retire, she knew she had to find something bigger than herself to be part of. What is the emotion that you feel coming here? When I come here, I feel purpose. When I leave here, I feel happiness. I'm walking lighter when I walk out of here, and my problems seem smaller. I've, I've helped. I've helped in a small way, and that's a really important human thing um, for all of us to be trying. The loss of human connection due to the pandemic has been felt far and wide. One survey found 36% of all Americans frequently felt lonely. For young people, 61% expressed those feelings. Good morning. And the cure could be as simple as helping others. Research shows volunteering can not only ease feelings of loneliness, but has a positive impact on mental health and physical health, reducing the risk of mortality and lowering feelings of depression. What do you think is the reason why volunteering can actually make you feel better? Volunteering is all about the, the, the connection with people and, and leaving the volunteer shift knowing that you made a difference. That's what's so incredible about it. One study found more than half of respondents were more likely to volunteer because of health benefits. In Springfield, Massachusetts, 41-year-old Atia Wilkins volunteers with AmeriCorps, mentoring kids in high school. The pandemic hit. I was really isolated, shut off. She was a certified nursing assistant, but when her license expired during the pandemic, she became a stay-at-home mom and fell into what she calls a sunken place. She says going out to help others saved her. I'm getting up, doing my part. I feel like I'm giving back something when I felt like I couldn't give anything. Experts say if you're looking to start, search for opportunities that have meaning to you, including in your own community. Just give it a try because it might really like pull you out of that place that you've been stuck in for so long. 71-year-old retiree Alice Sessions lives in East Hampton, Massachusetts. She says by the end of last year, she was lonely and was missing conversations with people. I had been unhappy for long enough and I had identified what was making me unhappy and therefore I was ready to go out and do something about it. Through the city's Council on Aging and Enrichment, Alice became a companion driver, taking people who couldn't take themselves to things like doctor's appointments. COVID did some serious damage that way um, by limiting the and uh, increasing the isolation of people. I do think that by finding something with meaning for yourself, by giving um, and being willing to accept the gifts that others are giving to you um, is what is what makes um, this and, and the volunteering is merely the mechanism by which we can do that for each other. For Linda Mason, giving back has become a two-way street. Every time you come here, what are you building? I am building those people connections, those human connections. Connections that pay it forward and back. It's not filling time, it's filling like space within me. It's filling my heart space. It's giving me a purpose bigger than myself. Kate Snow, NBC News, Hartford, Connecticut. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.